Hello everyone and welcome to the first part of the review for the Furry BX215 Pro S version. Uh, this is something different from the Pro version. The S comes uh, with a lot of things changed and I'm going to uh, show you exactly what. So let's move on. Uh, let's see in the box you get two sets of propellers and this is the quad it comes with uh, this uh, camera holder it has the regular velcro uh, pagoda antenna and the quad itself comes with this plate which was not present in uh, the uh, normal version and this is very good because it protects the battery from uh, hitting the ground and in comparison with the other model, which is this one, look at them, uh, there are several things different. First, they are using uh, another motors on this, and the camera, uh, this one has a regular camera, this one has actually a furry B camera that uh, is a reiteration of a camera similar with the Runcam split, but it's the Fury B brand. I don't know if it's made by Rancam or not, if it's a split or not. Uh, the board doesn't show any kind of uh, details, but uh, it's doing the same thing. Uh, it's a camera that has a DVR and uh, can record footage, uh, which is very nice. And also the flight controller is changed. Uh, as you can see, this one has uh, IMU on a foam pad there so it's another flight controller this one uh, let's see no this one had the same flight controller but it's oriented in another way than uh, this one also the uh, camera board uh, has the transmitter built in so uh, it supplies also the video transmitter signal and the micro SD card will go I don't know if you can see it will go in there so uh, you are going to put a micro SD card there for recording now uh, it's interesting to see if beside these two buttons here uh, if you can control the camera from the flight controller uh, it should be interesting uh, looking at the wires, it does have some some of them going to the board and they are three wires so beside power maybe, maybe it has a signal and if it has a signal maybe it's on uh, port and you may control it through the OSD which should be awesome but I'm going to test that right away so I'm going to put this aside uh, I'm going to take the antenna plug, I'm going to install the antenna because I don't want to burn the video transmitter and let's see, let's hook it to the power now let's see how this goes, so I'm going to uh, power on the monitor here uh, the receiver looks like uh, FR Sky XM Plus model which has a small golden button there you need to keep pressed while turning this on so it enters in uh, bind mode uh, I'm going to need something sharp for that this screwdriver may just do I'm going to power on the transmitter and yes 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 fail safe not set it's on a test uh, profile and I'm going to go into bind mode and let's see if I can connect this I'm going to also install the micro SD card this should be interesting it's kind of hard to get it in there I'm going to use a screwdriver and that is done, the antenna is secured let's see now before powering it up I'm gonna just keep those like that 
and I'm going to press the small button here maybe you can hear it clicking and I'm going to let go of the button let's see we have a steady green light and a flashing red light so probably the receiver is now okay I'm going to confirm here and now I'm going to turn them both off just to be sure they are binded and there you go steady green light which means that it is uh, connected to the transmitter uh, it's nice that from the start we get RSSI on uh, the monitor so that means that uh, 30B which is actually gear best did their job properly they have set this up as they should they even bothered to add its name on the OSD we have uh, some information here uh, battery not full uh, we have voltage and uh, uh, current draw on display let's see does it uh, let me enter the OSD and it seems that the OSD uh, does not work uh, it may be something uh, there it go now it started but something is wrong because actually the uh, axes are not correct that's why uh, it was not working so I need to uh, modify the transmitter settings uh, it seems that the aileron axis is actually up or down uh, in my case and that's not okay so I need to uh, figure things out I don't know if we can do something about the camera from here let's see features uh, also the throttle is the up and down so all the commands are not as they should be black box vtx let's trip i don't think i can operate it with uh, commands like that active all right so i'm going to hook this up to uh, beta flight and do a proper setup and a transmitter setup before i go further than that but the thing is i didn't see any kind of uh, settings for the uh, 40B uh, camera here it does have these two switches and let's see if I press this one it's showing that it's now recording the video if I press it again it's on standby and this this I don't know what it does it made the image go away for a period of time and that was it let's see if I press it again I think it just resets the camera or something like that and if I start recording and if I press this button yep probably it has reset it again and the camera is now back in standby so that's for the camera uh, also looking at the monitor it looks like the camera needs a bit of focusing and yes the lens is not fixed you can easily turn it around and now it's sharp and looking great so it will need a bit of glue on uh, the thread so it will not uh, get unadjusted uh, during mid-flight so that's mostly about it the S version of uh, this furry bee uh, hopefully it will fly nice uh, and I'm going to test that again hopefully soon uh, I need to figure some things out and maybe see if I can control this camera from the transmitter which should be really nice because it's not what you want in nowadays you can control the uh, video transmitter power from the 
uh, transmitter why not control the camera as well uh, I'm going to see if I can figure uh, that out but for now I'm just going to try to make it work as best as possible and I'm going to report to you back until then bye bye